And today, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. What up though? We're introducing a new segment to the channel today called Tip Minute Tuesdays. Basically, I'm gonna bring you some cool type of tip or information in a short amount of time. And we're not gonna do a dive, it's gonna be a quick exploration. And today we're gonna talk about freshening up our watch band, specifically our Apple watches. Now, some of you might be wondering why would we want to why would we want to freshen up our Apple watches? Well, for one, it just makes it look better. But for two, the more important reason is that the functionality. Most watch bands, you struggle with putting them on and they risk the chance of falling or you end up pressing up against your chest trying to do this weird thing to get it on or you're overstretching the band. And the other reason is that it extends the life of the band, specifically with leather bands. If you're using a leather band, which we will be talking about today, you want to extend the life of that band. And you can use oils and other things like that to treat the leather. One of the biggest things about keeping leather in good health is not bending it too much if we look here we can add a clasp to our watch which will allow us to put our watches on easier and it won't fall off if we don't get it right the first time when your package first comes in Amazon you order these two pieces the watch band and the clasp oh thank you no like most watch bands you have this we don't need this dongle anymore. So we're gonna take that off. This is such a quick hack and upgrade. So you're gonna get in here, you're gonna pop this off. So what we wanna do is we wanna get inside of that thing. We wanna get in there. Get in that. Take a little bit of finesse. If you don't have this tool that comes with your watch, you can use like a knife or something and just like that, push it over. Make sure you keep a finger there because these things are spring loaded and you don't want them to get away from you. Take the stem out. Remove that piece. And now you're just left with this. After that, this is your clasp. It releases these two notches right here on the back. Just like that. Side you just removed, replace. Slide that in there. Hold one side, push that in. Again, if you don't have the tool, see if you can use your nail. Be sure to cover it a little bit and pop it in there. Now that that part's done, slide this on. Bit of trial and error. You gotta figure out what hole fits for you. I happen to know, because I've been doing this for a long time, that the fourth hole down for me works pretty good. Gonna put that, this little notch, into whatever hole size you need. It locks into place, and you try it out. Pointy end usually goes inside. And now you can see we could just slip this on, locked in the place on one side, locked in the place on the other side, and it's done. First reason we'll use a clasp for our watches is to extend the life of our leather. Second reason, make it easier to put on. Third reason, we have less risk of dropping our watch while putting it on and taking it off. Fourth reason, just looks good fancy and it brings a level of class to a pretty much technical piece of wear it brings that classic aesthetic back into wearing timepieces and now for the call of action are wristwatches still important or have phones eliminated the need for a watch leave your comment below and let's see what we come up with so i hope you found this information helpful if you're interested in upgrading your watch or your watch band i have links below where you can go and find these pieces that were used today to class up our apple watches and if you and with that said it's about that time and i'd like to thank you for yours i'd like to invite you to follow me on instagram twitter and facebook please leave a comment i read them every day and i reply to them as soon as possible if you like the video please like share 
and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our newest posts. Design is a human need and a basic human right. So remember, define, design, repeat. Oh, almost forgot. Make sure you guys look below and follow everybody in Decoy. That's Detroit conglomerate of YouTubers. You got people like Steph Muir, Patrick over at Voice Mag. You got Justin Odisho. You got Kenan Rivers. You got Emily Jean Beauty, Michael M, J2 Curly, Bria. Go follow all those guys. They're doing dope stuff. But check out what other Detroit YouTubers are doing. Go subscribe. See what the real scoop about Detroit is looking like from Detroiters themselves. Um... Peace.